I guess one of the symptoms of PTSD is like, you're basically like an agoraphobe. You just stay in the house. You stay away from people, which is kind of what I do. I was sheltered. Um, I didn't trust. I didn't really have a whole lot of happiness in my life. I get to be around more people that enjoy the same things I do and it kind of helps me be able to do things. The purpose of Camp Cowboy is uh, it's a 90 day equestrian program. We focus on natural horsemanship and horse gentling techniques. We find that once you teach the veteran uh, how to calm the horse, they, they uh, in turn internally learn themselves how to calm down. Um, so they're, they're really able to walk away after 90 days with a new sense of how to approach life and, and new strategies and, and how to tackle day-to-day -day issues that uh, before may have given them a, a really um, some hanging up points, you know, and, and uh, caused them to withdraw more and uh, be away from society because it was difficult to manage. Now they have a, a new skill set that allows them to manage that a little bit easier. You know, when we first began this two years ago, people were telling me that um, if we helped one veteran a day, that uh, it was all worth every bit of the effort. Well, I'm a veteran, and we do help one veteran every day, me. This is my therapy. I'm a retired military. I retired in 2005 uh, after eight IEDs in, in one year in Iraq and traumatic brain injuries, and uh, I had to find something to kind of help with that. They said I couldn't be in a, a, a combat unit because of the traumatic brain injury and stuff, so they sent me to Horse Cavalry Detachment in, there in uh, 1st Cavalry Division, Fort Hood, Texas. We got around the horses, and as soon as I started getting around the horses, my nightmares started to go down. Um, I started feeling a little calmer. Uh, I started feeling a little bit of sense of peace that I wasn't feeling at the time. So I found the horses, and that kind of led to us coming together and, and bringing other veterans around the horses and doing the same thing for them. Um, I had a friend of mine named Scott Shuley, a mentor of mine, Kept, always kept telling me to keep my feet moving, and uh, I didn't understand. Once I started working with the horses and I started building something with, uh, with Camp Cowboy and wanting other veterans to be able to experience what I had experienced with the horses, I really got to understand what keeping my feet moving uh, meant. And uh, now it seems to become a theme out here that uh, we see a lot of people that have become very stagnant in their life. They're sitting at home, they're not doing anything, and we all know that when you just sit there and do nothing, that's when the, all, the, all the trouble creeps into your mind and stuff. And out here, we get their feet moving. And once their feet start moving, their mind clears. And once their mind clears, they're able to move forward. I can keep moving forward and do better day by day. Camp Cowboy is a tool to help soldiers transition. I would say the progress I've made is learning with the horse that the horse kind of sees that you do care about them that you're just trying to achieve the desired result rather than force them into doing something crazy. To me, that's kind of helped me even as a leader in the organization that I work in to deal with people on a human level that, you know, I, I show you that I care, I show you what I need done, you know, and then I thank you afterwards for it, you know, so it's kind of a, a softer approach. A lot of the emotions, separation anxiety, survivor's guilt, a lot of the things, PTSD, a lot of the things that um, veterans deal with when they come out here and they get around the horses, the horses, they, they, they don't care about how many wars you've been to, they don't care if you've been divorced, they don't care if you're black, white, they don't care if you're tall, if you're short, they don't care if you're male, female, they don't care about any of that stuff. So while you're out here with them, you don't have to care about those things either. You get to take a break from all of that. Uh, so I think that that's uh, one of the most important parts of all this is, is giving them the, the time and the permission to take a break from all the things that's bothering them and uh, be able to work on something else instead. Horses are, are uh, uniquely um, perfect for this situation uh, because they're a prey animal and, and the way that they read things, they read everything from your body posture to your facial expressions to so the way you hold your shoulders to your stance to your breathing pattern, to your energy level. They read so much about you that uh, you can't fake anything with them. You can go around with a smile on your face and tell everybody you're doing fine and internally you're a ticking time bomb, but a horse you can't lie to. They're like a giant lie detector. Like they can tell when you're upset, when you're angry, when you're hurting, when you're happy and that they go off of your emotion and if you're in a bad mood, 
they're going to know that you're in a bad mood and they're not going to want to listen. Whereas when you're in a good mood, they do what you want. So with them, you have to be honest with yourself. You, before you enter a round pen, before you enter an arena, before you start doing any of this work, you have to have the ability to clear your head and get that stuff away from you. Otherwise, the horse will pick up on it and won't work with you. It's a patience thing. You, you can't try to work with a horse and expect to immediately put a saddle on one and just go, oh, let's go ride and you know, it's not like the movies. So I would say uh, developing um, a horse and learning more about myself and, and disciplining that animal is, you know, beneficial to how I raise my son, you know, because it, it's taught me, it's kind of like sandpaper taught me of rough areas that I probably need to get rid of when I'm dealing with a person. Horses are, are amazing, amazing creatures. They're very, very therapeutic. This is one of the only um, programs that I can, I can honestly say that in, four, in the last four years, I do not take medication of any kind for any reason. I don't need it. I come and get in the morning, I come in and I work with the horses and by the end of the day, I'm okay. I don't, I'm fine. And I'm not saying that's for everybody, but I'm saying it's a possibility.